Hey everybody, it's Dr. Andrew Hall from Wellspine Casey. I'm coming to you today from Solution One CrossFit in Shawnee, Kansas, which is my CrossFit gym. And I'm here with my coach, Coach Shea. Um, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be talking about how do you know if my pain is more than just sore muscles, i.e. have I injured myself? So Coach Shea, take this one. So there is a huge difference between discomfort and pain. So discomfort, I would say, is something you're supposed to experience during a workout as far as workouts are supposed to be hard, okay? You're supposed to, you know, your legs are supposed to be tired, your arms are supposed, they're supposed to be tired. But there's a difference between feeling that discomfort that you should be feeling during a workout and pain. So pain would be something that's maybe sharp uh, spasms, you know, stabbing, lightning, like pins and needles going through your elbow while you're doing a movement. That is not normal. That's when you might want to stop. Yeah, and I can't agree with you more on that one, Coach, was when you start to feel those kind of things, you need to stop. I mean, even if it's for 30 seconds, even if it's for 45 seconds, and check in with yourself and be like, okay, what am I experiencing right now? Is this just part of the workout or is my body telling me something else? Because that's probably the number one downfall for most CrossFit athletes, and I would even say more most athletes, is they don't take the time to check in with themselves to see if what they're doing is an injury. Now, we already talked about the kind of sensations that you might feel. Another indication that this might be just more than sore muscles is lack of mobility and ranges of motion, meaning like, hey, I used to be able to fully externally rotate my shoulder, but after I just did that movement, now I'm to here, and there's this really sharp pain right here in the middle you've hurt yourself at that point in time. And even if there's not pain and you don't have a normal range of motion with that, then you've probably either injured that before, so it's a chronic injury, or you just acutely injured that. And that applies to shoulders, that applies to the neck, that applies to the hips, the knees, the ankles, we can keep going. But if there is a lack of mobility in a joint, that usually means that you've injured it in some way and you need to back off and get some help for it and recover. So coach, anything else you wanna to add to that? I would just say if you're consistently feeling like that, there are some, like, there are some periods when I felt, you know, my elbows hurting or people will come in and say, my knee, if there's a sharp pain in my knee, um, that's really, like you said, you want to check in with your body and it might be something greater than, it's definitely not the workout. You're yeah. not supposed to feel like that when you work out. So you need to really check in with your body, see what's going on and try and get to a solution. And that's a great point as well. If you have the same kind of pain in the same place after every workout, there's an injury there. I mean, and again, it may, doesn't have to be like, oh, every time I've worked out, but yeah, at least twice a week after I do some squats, I have that same pain on the medial aspect of my knee and it's always sharp and burning. There's an injury there. I mean, let's not like, hey, well, let's hope this goes away. There's probably an injury there and you need to get that checked out. So if these videos have helped you, give us a like, leave a comment below. If you'd like to know more information, click on the learn more button just below. Share this with someone who maybe has been dealing with some chronic injuries and is looking for a different solution. So thanks you guys, stay healthy.